So here's the outside. It's got the terracotta roof tiles, beautiful landscaping. Again, this home is five bedrooms, five and a half full bathrooms, but wait till you see inside. I know you're anxious, so let's get in there, shall we? Okay, as you enter the home, you've got these beautiful tile floors and the ceilings with the wood. Extremely large, open concept, wood burning, well, it's a gas burning fireplace. You do have a wine cellar that could be, if you put a door on it, could be climate controlled. Here's your kitchen. Just look at these countertops. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like a pearl feel to it. It almost looks like it's lit up. Isn't that awesome? You got melee appliances and then Bosch. This is plumbed for gas, so you could put a gas range if you wanted. And then you have multiple dishwashers. Farm sink. And then check this out. Hideaway pantry. Hello, picky boo. And then when you walk in, it comes on. How cool is that? All right. So now we're going to enter the primary. And you can see you do have an entrance out to your pool. Beautiful open window view. Very large, spacious primary. And then walking into your primary ensuite, you have walk-in shower with a seat. And then I'll just show you the counters here. Just gorgeous. Pub in the center of the primary ensuite. And another sink. We even have a TV in here. Your toilet. And then here is your walk-in closet with tons of storage, place to hang drawers and everything else. And I'm going to take you upstairs. I lied. I'm actually going to take you into another bedroom downstairs. Very large space. All the windows have louvers on them, which is really nice. Again, built-ins. Then this has its own full bathroom. Granite countertops. Gorgeous back splash for the shower. And then it is considered a two-way bathroom, so you do have it for guests if you choose to use it. So here is the wine cellar room. And I said it's not climate controlled, but you could easily put a door on that if you wanted to. Upstairs, you have wood stairs all the way up. As soon as you hit the landing, you do have a kitchen, dinette, kitchen, small. You have a Juliet type balcony. It'd be nice to stand out here and maybe smoke a cigar or something so you don't get it on the house. Here is your open bonus space, which is very large itself. It does have some cabinets. You could put a nice media room together here. Obviously they've got it as a TV room and a place to maybe play cards or something. And you walk back and you have another full bathroom. Again, updated granite on the shower, seamless shower door to the right. Another very large bedroom. This one actually has its own bathroom, matching granite countertops. This does have a tub with granite. And here's the floors. And then again, a very large walk-in closet with built-ins. And we'll go to the other side. Also, here you can see the louvers. In this room, another very large room with a kind of a nice sitting area that could maybe have a desk facing out, looking at your pool. You can see it's a very large space that also has another nice walk-in closet. It has the door, so you do have some privacy, but you can share it with the other bedroom as well. So now we'll go ahead and go downstairs and take a look at the outside. Before we do that, I completely forgot. There is an office with built-ins. This is not a bedroom. This is not one of the five. It's a beautiful space for built-ins. You can make this, a, obviously, a, an office is what they're using it for. It does have a really nice closet, but they are not counting this as one of the five. So it's kind of a bonus space. Now I'm gonna take you which I forgot before we go outside, I want to take you on the other side of the house is a laundry room, washer and dryer, sink. You have a pool bath, beautiful 
sink, gorgeous finishes, linen closet. But let me just show you this. If we go here, there's a door that actually will take you to a private residence. So I'm gonna take you upstairs. And as we hit the landing, here's like a mini apartment. Has its own dinette kitchen, fridge. And over here you have a stove, microwave, TV, place to sit, eat, drink coffee. And then as you go back, you do have a full blown out bathroom and all granite high definition finishes. Beautiful walk-in shower. Here's a closet. And then you have a bedroom. Again, very large, spacious bedroom. Be great for mom and dad want to come visit. Teenager needs her own space. This is a great space for that. Now we're going to go outside. So now when we go outside, you can see again, very similar, the flooring, beautiful tile throughout. It does have the wood beams. You have multiple French doors. And then you have your outdoor entertaining kitchen, sink, incredible grill, places to sit, a lot of open space. You could put a couch out here. You could put a lot of stuff, another TV if you wanted, and then step down. And now you're looking at your swimming pool, salt water, spa. But I want to go ahead and show you. We walk around here, still have a lot of open space. As you can see, it is fully fenced, protected, but how much fun would you have on this? It is a slide that goes into your pool. And here's the back of the house. All right, coming out of the house into the garage, you have a lot of nice built-ins all the way throughout. It is a three-car garage. I have no idea what this is. It's pretty crazy, interesting, but a three-car garage a lot of space to park and even the entrance back to the pool fantastic